Hola, hola, konnichiwa, konnichiwa. I know that's Japanese. I gotta learn how to say that in Korean. Woo! How y'all doing, man? I just woke up from a nap. Oh my God, much needed nap. And I just want to take a quick second. Y'all know these videos are always off the top of my head. Let's talk about respecting Jungkook's privacy. So I just read his uh his 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 post basically that he put about people people sending him food randomly to his house. There is so much to unpack here. Once again, this is all off the top of my head. First of all, that's crazy. Uh, but let, let me let me let me tone it down. I'm gonna keep it respectful. Um, that's one of the first things I actually noticed when I actually I, I even saw the video about you know him talking about he want to start doing lives and things like that, but he can't do it because obviously um, it's going to give out his location and things going to get crazy. And he basically talk about please don't approach him when he's you know out in public and you know respect and consideration and all of those wonderful 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 things one of the biggest things i noticed when i was uh watching that video is he is trying his absolute when i say absolute best to stay respectful but at the same time you could tell he really wants to address the situation is it's getting a little it's getting a little too much the guy is human i'm not just saying that because he said it because he is obviously he's human and you know we all have what's known as the human experience and the more you know i grow with life the more i'm starting to think what the human experience means is <clears throat> we all are sit here i'm 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 just respectful to what anybody believe in i'm gonna just talk and take it with a fine tooth comb or take it all if you want to we all were sit here on this earth plane for a purpose Okay, one of the easiest things is to learn. Obviously, that's why this world is so dense. It's so dense. It's so intense because it's a beautiful freaking place at the same time. So we're sitting here to learn and to and continue to evolve. So the only way to learn is like a muscle. Okay, when people work out at the gym, I know you heard this before. The reason how muscles get bigger is when they lift weights, they're literally ripping the muscle. They're tearing it apart. And then it heals stronger on top of it because the human body is just an incredible machine. So in order for us to learn and advance and evolve, we have to... We have our own crosses to bear, so to speak. No matter who you are, we all have our crosses to bear. So taking it back to having a human experience and him being human too, he have, whether we know it or not, he have his own crosses to bear. He have his own challenges that he goes through in day-to-day in, in -day life. So just imagine having to deal with the things that you have to deal with and then dealing with all of these other things on the outside, you could clearly tell this man was distressed. Okay, when it, but he has to address the situation. He has to say something. But at the same time, you, of course, he have a lot of admiration, you know, for for the interest in him and the respect that he get and the love that he gets. Um, you know, but at the same time, he's trying to be respectful, but at the same time, he have to address the situation. So I'm going to speak on this a little bit because he can't do it. Let me just talk about, first of all, the sending the food thing. Let me, let me just kind of break down a little bit why that's just not the coolest thing to do. First of all, you're getting random food sent to your house. Even if you are the best cook literally on the entire planet, and you like, I just, you know, I just want to show my baby junk cook. You know what I'm saying? Take care of him because that's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Let me just send him something. Even if you are the best cook on the planet, look at it from his shoes and his perspective. You're getting random food sent to your house these are global superstars okay mega stars okay with endless influence on the world you don't know what's in this plate he's not gonna eat it it could be literally the best food in the world but for security and 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 well-being purposes he's not going to eat it who knows by contract he probably can't eat it who knows what's in his contract who knows you know what I'm saying? He probably can't eat it and he's not going to give it to any of the staff. 
So it's literally just an extra thing to deal with. It's like weeds in your grass. It's a li it's literally an extra thing that you have to deal with. It's time consuming. It's energy consuming. It's all of that consuming. And again, nobody is going. Nobody is going to eat that. Okay, you get random food sent to your house. Like just just think about that for a second. Even if you mean well, hey, if if, if you want to do that, just tone it down a bit. Probably send a thank you card. And even I'm not I'm not even advising that because you're sending stuff to the man house. Come on, man, your house is your peace. Your house is your peace. It's your moment of peace. If you can't find peace at home, where the hell are you going to get it? Think about this, y'all. Just, just, just put yourself in this man's shoes. Your house is your peace. Let's just say he loved where he live at. That's like I recently um had to come up on the renewal of my um of my lease with my apartment, even though they going up on my rent. I love where I live at. I genuinely love this area. It's a home. I don't want to freaking leave, or at least in this area. You know what I'm saying? So even if he, let's just say he loves where he lives at, it's your home. You can't just get up, oh God, too many people got my address. Now I just got to get up and move and go somewhere else. You can't just do that. It's not that easy, especially with a home. And nobody wants to do that. It's an energetic thing. You move into a certain place. You get your energy filled up in the atmosphere. It's a vibe. You get your flow. You know how long it takes for you to get to work. You got all your, your local spots. You, like, you got your whole flow. If you move, you reset all of that. You move into a new space. With someone else's energy in there. It takes time to wipe that out. You gotta learn your new flows. You gotta learn your new patterns. It's it's so dis it's it's so distressful. So I can see where this man is coming from. You know what I'm saying? So it's just not the coolest it's not the coolest thing to just send random things to the man house. And here's another factor about that that people are probably not even thinking about. It's not like tomorrow less people are going to have this address. No, it don't work like that. This is the world. It's for whatever reason. More people, more and more people are going to have this man's address because people talk. Let's be honest. You know, people talk. Hey, man, I got John Cook's address. You know what I'm saying? You want to uh, whatever, whatever. So this is only going to grow. And he's trying his best to address it just to say, hey, man, just show a little consideration and respect. Just please show a little consideration and respect. Um, you know, it's it's I could tell y'all, um, um I have really good karma with working in very fortunate positions and being in very fortunate positions. Like I I, I you know, I'm always associating with either uh, I wouldn't say always, but I often associate with either celebrities, rich people. I used when I was in Miami, I used to work on uh, in the film and television industry. I used to be on set with these stars all the time. OK, I got pictures I could show it, but I don't do no production with these videos, so I'm not going to add it. But I do it all. I be on set with these people all the time. Of course, they always tell you, don't take pictures with the talent. Don't take pictures with the talent. Don't disturb the talent. Don't do no solicitation uh, with, with, with the talent or the star, per se. Ask me how many pictures I got with famous people. I got quite a bit. Why? Because... I, as you heard me say in my amygdala uh, video, if you've seen that, um, I I know how to read energy. I know how to read people's energy. I know how to read the room. You know how they say, read the room? I know how to read the room. It's a spiritual thing. It's an energetic thing. So I know it's, it's just hard to explain this. It's just these certain pockets that you know is a good time to approach someone and ask for a picture. And I normally don't just ask for a picture. I just say, man, I just want to show a little respect. I appreciate everything you do, man. Is it okay if I get a pic? I understand if you can't. I get it. I get it. I get it. And just because of my energy is so respectful, honestly, eight times out of ten, they be like, yeah, man, let's just get one in real quick. And then, boom, get the picture in. I don't make a big deal about it. I move on about my business. I make a big deal out of it later. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe I just got this picture with LeBron. Can you, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I go through all that later. So, 
the point that I'm making is know how to read the room, man. Respect, respect the man privacy. He's human. This goes for all of them. He has his own things to deal with. I'll give you one more example. This is equivalent to, let's just say you work your job. Let's just say you had a bad day. You had a bad day at work. You just want to go home and just freaking relax. You had a bad day at work. You just, it's one of them days where you drive home with the radio off. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So it's one of them days. You go home, you open your door. What's the first thing that you see? Your dog pissed all over your hardwood floors. All, I'm talking just, ah, everywhere. Of course you love your pet. You love your dog. But now you have to deal with this. It's just adding to the distress of the stressful day that you just had. So now you got to clean all of that up. And then you got to take this same dog that just pissed all over your floor for a walk. Okay, you come home. You go take a shower. Now you just want to unwind. You're going to watch some Netflix. You got your food ready to go. And you just want to unwind. And what happened? The dog pisses on your floor again. Okay. It's, it's, it's just extra inconvenience that you have to deal with. You're not going to, nah, I'm not going to say that. That's too intense. You know, you, 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 all you can do is clean the piss. It's just extra inconvenience. And this is equivalent to that. He has to clean the piss or his team has to clean the piss. When they have a gang of other things going on that they need to worry about more important things. So anyway, man, I'll just go ahead. I think I said a good bit. But I just had to say some of this because by watching that video, man, my heart goes out to this man because I could tell he he's a little annoyed at it. I'm going to be honest with you. He's a little annoyed at it. Everybody's human. OK, I know a lot of people want to be famous, but I promise you, if the second you walk out your front door, people are that shit is going to get so tiring after a while and it's every day it don't stop it's every day so just have some consideration man when the man is in the gym that's not the best place to approach him you know what i'm saying the man is working out he's in oh yeah here's another thing of why he he, he he's probably not going to eat the food to look like that, okay, you 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 can't eat fried chicken and rice and, and mashed potatoes and gravy every day to look like that. I'm pretty sure he has his own eating regimen, his own eating habits going on. You know what I'm saying? So just out of principle of the matter, even if he want to eat it, he probably can't because you can't eat. I know y'all, people sending him some good shit, okay? You're not just going to send Jungkook no fucking carrots and, and 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 lettuce you know what i'm saying with a side of, of a ranch dip you you're not gonna send jung cook that okay it, you you sending them some really good food i know you is i know you is so again he he probably can't even eat it just because it's breaking his diet anyway man i go on and on this is just another quick let's talk video man i had to drop this because my heart goes out to this man i could see the distress in him i could read i think we all can this i don't feel special for this one i think we all could just look at this video and be like yo man we can read those words that he posted on that post about sending him food you can read those words and just feel this man's pain so Come on, man. Just clean it up a little bit. Learn how to be cool. That's why it's called being cool because you're not hot. You're not cold. You just cool, baby. Into euphoria.